Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today I am going to review the Dell Thunderbolt docking station. I believe this model is called the WD22TB4. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot. And you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so you are here because you want to see the review of this Dell docking station. Now, if you are new, typically what I do is I go ahead and I unbox this. I show you everything that's included. And for some of you, that's very boring. But I go ahead and unbox, show you exactly what we're looking at inside this box. And then I get to the review. So I'll plug in most likely my Dell Latitude laptop. I will try to potentially get my husband's MacBook and we'll go from there. So if this is boring, go ahead and skip to the end where you can see this plugged in. If not, stick with me and I will walk you through my perspective of opening this box. Now the Dell Thunderbolt dock does come with some configuration options. This is very helpful. I don't think I've ever seen this before from Dell. Now this is just instructions for use of which type of monitors or third or fourth monitors can be connected to this docking station. So I'm gonna probably keep this because it is extremely helpful. Most likely you can get it online. So it is going to include the power cable to connect it to the wall. I live in Canada, so that will be the plug for Canada. Now, giant bag of do not eat, probably the biggest bag I've ever seen. Now, standard power supply that's 180 watts. And one thing that I really love about Dell packaging is the use of cardboard. I think it is very rare that you're gonna see any use of plastic besides just on the paper here, but it is recyclable plastic. And there we go, there's the dock. It's quite straightforward. And let's take a look. Just move this off the desk. there. All right, first impressions, guys, this is a standard dock. I have not reviewed a dock in probably over a year. They don't really change. I believe this dock is about two, three years old already, but it was very important to get my hands on one of these because I did want to test it out with the MacBook Pros, the M1, M2, and M3, and that is what I'm going to do shortly to test that out. All right, so typically when I would use a Dell dock, I would install this underneath my desk with a couple zip ties. They're small enough, the cable is long enough to be able to do that, and it's quite sleek and small. I do like the heaviness of the dock. I feel like it stays on the desk if you do want to keep it, and it does not move around. Now let's talk about ports. Now coming in at number one is your USB-C 3.2 Gen 2. Now number two is USB-A 3.2 Gen with a power share. Number three is your display port times two. Then number four is your HDMI. Number five is USB-C multifunction display port. Number six is USB-A 3.2 Gen one and number seven is your ethernet rj45 number eight is your power in and number nine is your thunderbolt four times two now here is the current situation of my husband's desk when he is working from home he does not currently use a dock he's using some of the functionalities of the hub monitor but we're going to go ahead and install this dock on his desk and i'm sure he's going to be quite pleased due to the fact that he has not been using a dock and has to typically plug in a few different cables into his macbook Yes, I could not convince him to use a Dell computer as it is his corporate standard to use a Mac, but I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power, HDMI, Type-C, and some of his peripherals. Now, it's important that you use two different settings here, especially with the Mac, that you use the right side of the dock for the Type-C 
And let's go ahead and turn this around and see how quickly it connects. Let's take a look here. Boom. Wait for that second monitor. I'm shocked. I have been trying to figure out the dock that would work well with a MacBook. And this is the one for you. Again, a little highlight of the stunning Dell monitors. We were not able to use the hub monitors to connect into the MacBook. There's a little difficulty when connecting it to the Dell Latitude. And just want to show you again, super important to use the two sides of the dock. And it shows just so that you figure out which dock you have. The charging cable there on the left has a little number four to identify Thunderbolt 4. So if it doesn't have four, then you know you need to replace it, especially if you're using a MacBook. Now, one thing that I hate about docking stations and that you've probably seen on other videos when I'm talking about monitors is the amount of cables that you need to manage and zip tie. Now, when you use the type C USB hub, monitors, they are a lot better than that. Now I did look online and it says that you can take apart the dock here and make it module. So if you have a Thunderbolt 2 and want to replace it with a Thunderbolt 4, you should be able to remove that. But what I didn't realize is there is three screws on the back. So all you need to do is take off two. Little plug for my new screwdriver that I got at Costco. Just pull it. It is not that hard and difficult. And there you go. It's really like two separate docks when you think about it, just so that it can work with that. And it is a pin. So you have to make sure when you are pushing it in, it is fully pushed in and that is easily replaceable, which is very, very nice that Dell has done that. If you have one of the older docks, you're able to switch that out. That was my review of the Thunderbolt dock. Now, if you are new to this channel and you've watched maybe only one or two or even just this video, I am not currently using a docking station in my setup. What I am using is the built-in Thunderbolt dock into the Dell UltraSharp monitors. This is life-changing. So if you are working from home and you need a dock solution with a monitor, just get the monitor that is built in. Now, if you are still attached to the docking station, don't wanna change your monitor setup, this is a fantastic alternative to that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, I would really appreciate a subscribe. It helps my channel grow. It gives more visibility to other people out in the YouTube world. And again, thumbs up, share, and I will see you next week. Take care. Mm -hmm.